My name is Wafa Al Jamal. I'm uh, from Jordan. I studied pharmacy in Jordan uh, many years ago, and then I got the opportunity to go to the School of Pharmacy in London to do my PhD in drug delivery. What I'm working on at the moment is more about developing a new way to deliver drugs. So something called nanomedicine, where we work with very tiny uh, carriers that will encapsulate drugs to increase their selectivity to target tissues. So the aim is really to increase accumulation at specific tissues that will increase the potency of the drug and at the same time reduce side effects. Uh, main interest is in cancer, so hopefully this technology will make it more efficient to treat cancer patients with minimum side effects. Jordan is a small country. Uh, we have uh, very limited resources. So with the increased situation now in the Middle East where we have a lot of refugees, that increased the pressure on the resources available. And that could affect uh, how the health services provided for uh, existing people as well for the refugees. Uh, one of the main challenges and, um, in Jordan or currently affecting health, uh, the health system is the high incidence of cancer. So you see like young children, elderly and uh, middle-aged uh, people suffering from cancer. And there is, I think, unmet need to improve the way we are uh, treating these patients. So we make sure they will be treated in a way that helps them to uh, integrate back quickly to the community and with minimum side effects. So they will be um, treated in a way that helps them to have a better quality of life. So in Jordan, they have good education system where they encourage both male and females to go to primary, secondary, and even finishing universities. So I would say women, they are getting good opportunity and care uh, to participate and be active in, the, in their communities. Uh, a lot of people, they um, get a PhD, so they have postgraduate degrees, and they go back and start teaching young generation, which is a good thing, but um, we don't have a lot of female scientists working in the area of science, work in the area of research. And this is something we need. So I would like to see more the, the whole society supporting females to balance their life with their uh, career in research and taking leadership. However, with all the restriction they have so far, I would encourage, because we have very distinguished students that will have a high potential, I would encourage them to take every single opportunity uh, to develop themselves, uh, whether it's inside the country, outside the country, for short term or for long term, this is very important. Um, but also the current situation is getting much better now where we have a lot of networking. So even being in Jordan, they have access to different platforms in Europe or in other countries that they can participate, join and see what's going on and they can apply for certain funding as well so they can go and um, share their experience and learn and go back so they can benefit the country. To be honest, I wasn't really aware about, the, I didn't have a lot of information about sustainable development, but being here for a week, the meeting has been like an eye-opening experience for me because I could see how sustainable development is important. Um, it's not only for public health, it's important in different areas, like we heard interesting talks about food. Uh, uh, it's really, you can apply it everywhere. And it's not only about uh, the development itself, it's about the translation, and we saw a lot of examples that you can do it, but what you need is more in the involvement from everyone. Which, uh, but I think if we can manage to overcome all these challenges, we'll get up huge benefit out of working with sustainable development. It has been my first visit to Taiwan, but I'm sure it will not be last. I have a great week in Taiwan. First, I would like to thank all the organizers and people involved. I thank the all Taiwanese people for their hospitality. It has been amazing. We managed to go to different areas because we traveled to different cities to visit universities. The main key thing I found is meeting, the, we um, listened to internationally led uh, keynote speakers. They have very interesting research that maybe I didn't have the opportunity to know about it before. Uh, I had the opportunity to interact with many female scientists, which we ended up as a friend, so it was a really good opportunity for us. 
We shared all the challenges, so we came from different backgrounds. I'm from Jordan, but I work in the UK, so I have like a mixed background. And it was very interesting to see that all the challenges we face, women in different areas, even in Taiwan, they have the same problem. So we felt a bit stronger that we need to fight this together and try to work harder to overcome these problems. Um, I was touched with the high involvement of the high school students. They were really participating and attending all the talks we uh, visited in the four cities. And that indicates um, the involvement and the care that the Taiwanese government for young generation. They work at really early stage to make sure they are really aware of what's happening and that will help them to develop their career. And I would love to see it in other developing countries as well.